On this episode, we're gonna talk about seats. More specifically, how I can get my seat to fit me better. And I need to wash this thing. So in the recent past, one of the nicer things I've done for this vehicle is uh, work on the interior. And uh, wheel aside, probably the coolest thing I did was to reupholster the seats and to do the doors. And they look pretty good. I went with the TMI Sport. Not the Sport 2, just the, the regular Sport. And I'm pretty happy with them, but there is a problem. They introduce additional padding, which while it feels nice, creates a, a little bit of a fitament issue. My head is a lot higher than it used to be. And especially with this wheel, I'm a lot closer than I really want to be. What to do? Buy something. I saw the episode of Auto Restomod where they put in the seat sliders for Cam's car, and I thought that's probably a good solution. And I believe they got their sliders from NPD, but when I went to go get them from NPD, they weren't available. So I ordered them from eBay from a place called North Coast Muscle Car Incorporated out of Willoughby, Ohio. And here's the very box I ordered. Yeah, looks pretty straightforward. It's a couple of couple of rails and some instructions on, on how to install them. And they're bubble wrapped in case you're a dummy like me and you use your restoration project as a bench. Uh, not supposed to do that. So now we get to pull the seat. Laying in ants is entirely optional. And uh, once you've got these off, these little half inchers, you can just pull the seat out of the vehicle. Okay, so as you can see, the seat is out. You can even see the wiring harness for the electric heated seats. It's a pretty nice seat. Let's see what we can do about uh, adjusting those rails. I did actually read the instructions that came with this bad boy and it calls for Loctite Red, which I don't have, so I'm not using it. Hmm. This is the original rail, right? With these, these little raised, rivety looking things which are important to our story. And I have installed the one rail extender. You can see how it's gonna give me a, a fair bit of play going further backwards. It just pushes the rail forward. Uh, this one went on with some persuading. I had to actually whack on this on the tip now the threads, I had to whack the tip to uh, get it to align, and it did. And you can see there's holes that are strictly for aligning on our little steps. Now, this is where it gets kind of sucky, because if I put this on here, and this took a, a whole lot of actually persuading on this guy, whacking it because they were just bent back. Um, problem is, they're not lining up. It looks kind of like it's lined up, but it's really not. It's not lining up on our friends, these studs. Do I file the part? Do I file the seat? Um, I'm going to file the seat, I guess. File the a little stud and see if I can get some extra clearance. Clearance. We managed to get this thing to where it's it's 
flush fitting. You're supposed to take these nuts that were provided they're on the, on the studs and then we're going to swap them over to the old studs and then we're supposed to cut them off. Okay, I was wrong. I actually do have some thread locker red. I don't have much because this stuff is kind of lethal. Like you really, it's not something that you use uh, casually because it's, it's supposed to be permanent. I also got some lock washers, lock washers, because if we're gonna do this, really I might as well, you know, be belt and suspenders about it. So we've I've positioned the nut down, put the lock washer on it, and that way what I can do is take this thread locker red and apply just where I need it. Not a lot. Kind of purple. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's on there. Thread like a red, man. It makes me nervous. It's just so, so permanent. Can't change your mind. Well, this is this is live. We got all kinds of sounds of the neighborhood today. Thread locker purple. Now we're just gonna leave them down. go. It's a little nerve-wracking, but uh, because it's destructive and you can't go back. You gotta commit. There she went. Oh, those are... <laughs> Blades cooked. <laughs> See, well, yep, fresh blade. This one says it's made for metal. Let's do that. Dag, yo. I'm kind of impressed. I'm kind of scared. This could be a one. This might be like a one blade per uh, per stud deal. Two. Okay, not pretty, really, but definitely done. Yeesh. And it only took three blades. Wow, pretty exciting. Well, I was gonna grease these, but then I had a second thought, which is, if I use this garbage, which granted works very well, sticks around, if I use that on the stud, then I'm gonna wipe it all over the carpet, and it's gonna get everywhere. So I think instead what I'm gonna do is actually see if I can get it inside the threads of these. That way, I get the same effect, but without getting that goo all over the carpet. The seat likes to rock back when you're installing it. It'll, you know, this is the, the seat and it goes Meh. So, I need something heavy that won't actually hurt the vinyl. Like, uh, I've got tons of heavy stuff, but it probably would cut the vinyl. So, I'm gonna try to use this here medicine ball to hold the seat in place while I get underneath and cinch it up. Let's see if it works. Oh, it worked. Nice. Filled each one of these things with the silver goop. They're just packed. So that should help with our lubrication. The thing I'm worried about right now is the original studs have a taper at the bottom. Makes it easier to locate the 
the nut and the ones in the package with the sliders they don't all right well it looks like the medicine ball worked which was kind of cool wasn't sure it was heavy enough um, but apparently it was just the right weight so uh hey let's get started slide this thing back boom i think i got a little more Let's try it. Oh yeah. Oh yes. I can touch the top of the wheel with my wrist. Overall, it's a win. And I'll take that win. You know, it's not much fun to drive a car if it doesn't fit you right. But with that one change with the seat sliders, big, big improvement. And I think I'm gonna enjoy driving this car a whole lot more. I'm sure you can think of a couple things you could do that would really change the game on your vehicle. And if you can think of a couple, let me know. Put them in the comments below. That's all we got time for on today's Docs Carolina Garage of Texas. Hit me up with a subscribe. Hit me up with some, uh, some likes, some comments, and some shares. All right, take care. Driving around, it's Thanksgiving. People have families, except for me. Well, that's all I got for this episode of Ronnie's Leaf Blower. He's going to actually leaf blow the entire yard, I think. You know, it's really no fun to try to drive a car that doesn't fit you right, Ronnie.